And while I know this may not be the outcome that some members of our community may have wanted, I want to reiterate that this investigation was handled completely independently. An outside agency undertook the investigation of Mr. Walker's death from beginning to end. From that point, a jury of Summit County residents was convened and presented with the evidence accumulated from the state's investigation and ultimately made a collective decision not to bring criminal charges against any of the officers involved in the Walker shooting. Now, this is a change in process that our residents have asked for and was the first for our entire community. I want to ensure our residents and our community that this is not the end. In a few minutes, Chief Milet will discuss what happens next for the internal investigation in the Akron Police Department. But I want to emphasize that we will continue to talk with our residents, our community organizations, our faith leaders, and our business owners, and beyond, about how we work together to create the Akron that all of us want. In the days ahead, we will challenge ourselves as a city, as a police department, and as a community to improve our structure in order to create a better outcome, a better outcome and belonging for all. And we have to look at the entire picture, not only of our policies and procedures, but also our tactics, our communications, our systems, our services, and most importantly, our relationships, safety in our communities, and most importantly, police community relations. I will make the same ask of residents that I did back in July, which is to call for peace in our community. I would ask that during these times of tension and trauma, that you turn towards one another and not on each other. Akron is full of passion and energy, and when directed appropriately, it can be a catalyst for change, sustainable change in our community. And as you raise your voices and seek the change that you want to see, I would ask that you do so nonviolently. We will protect our citizens' right to assemble, demonstrate, and petition this government, but to do so peacefully.